What's up guys? Jason here. Just want to say what's up. Just check in again. Man, today's just been a, a awesome day. You know, like it had its challenges. Um, but man, like as this day is wrapping up, um, it's like 1030 at night and it's just like I've really been reflecting on and thinking about like all that I'm grateful for and I'm just blown away with like you know uh, life and where I'm at and like um, just how how grateful I really am how much there is in my life to be grateful for you know I'm just thinking about like my family my friends and you know just just relationships people in my life that you know um, that have really come into my life and always even been there my whole life you know like but just thinking back on this just this last year you know like I've developed so many new like quality relationships um, like with people I've never known never met and met them and like feels like I've known these people for years but I you know looking back like I like some of these close friends I've, I've, I've um, met and developed solid deep relationships with I haven't even known them a year you know and it's like it's crazy how how that can happen you know um, like so many of them you know within this last year of getting sober you know and it's uh, that's just one of the things like I'm grateful for you know I'm just I'm grateful for my job like honestly like I have a really awesome job I mean it's super hard work um, but the the pay is, is solid um, uh, a lot of times I'm not working even 40 hours a week and making a 40 hour a week wage you know uh, and I'm just blessed with that I'm blessed with like like I have a car to drive I have an apartment I have a awesome cat that you know is like always there for me um, you know my family brothers sisters um, I have both my grandparents that are still alive you know they're out there getting older but you know my dad that's always been there throughout my life um, even through all my foolishness he's, he's had my back you know and it's like I have my gym like all my teammates and um, you know, doing Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu and my coaches and, and, and like the friends, like uh, people at church, you know, like and even old friends like, uh, that I haven't seen for a while, like a couple of them have really come back into my life and, you know, it's so much more rich and, and you know, um, a deeper relationship that we can actually hang out and just like hang out and like do things together and not have to like just hang out to get high because that's that's used to be like my whole existence of hanging out with people uh, would be like let's just get together and get high and whatever we did even if we did do things we'd, we'd have to get high we'd have to like get wasted we'd have to like you know be on something to have fun so we thought and um, now realizing that like the first couple of months being sober like going to like social events or parties um, where like you wouldn't be drinking it was a little weird at first but now it's like it's so cool you can go to like parties you know picnics or like events with people and like just be yourself I don't have to worry about having a couple beers in me to get loosened up to like feel um, you know accepted or to feel confident you know it's a uh, it's really neat you know I'm just trying to label it think of all these things like I'm grateful for man I'm just so like I just feel blessed I feel blessed you know and even though there's like a lot of things like that are unresolved in my life like I have taxes I still owe I have um, a credit card I'm still paying off I have you know uh, my car payment, you know, yada yada, whatever, you know, um, I, it stuff's frivolous, you know, like, 
I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm not gonna identify with the lack in my life is who I am. You know, that's just part of the struggle, part of what I'm dealing with now, part of um, you know this challenge of life. Life has challenges. Life has has um, trials, has storms. You know, and if we get all worked up with with the negative things or hard parts of our lives, you know, it can really steal our joy. And I, I do admit, like, I was letting that happen to me, like, looking at the taxes I owe, looking at the debt I have yet to pay off, you know. It would really get me down if, like, I, like, identified that and focused on that and, like, would think, like, oh, I'll be happy when I get this done or when I get this paid off, you know. Like, no, I can be happy right now, you know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, you know, I just wanted to pop on and, like, just share, like, how powerful gratitude is. I know I've mentioned this so many times, but, like, like, true, true gratitude, you know, like, there'd be times where I'd just try to practice gratitude just to feel better, you know, and it does make you feel better, but, like, to truly be grateful, like, it's a whole thing, like, wow, like, being grateful turns everything you have into it into enough you know and it also opens the door for more to come into your life you know it's really like one of the secret keys to life is being grateful and um, and also being grateful for other people's success too. being grateful for other people's accomplishments or you know like because it's one thing if like we start to get envious or jealous of people when they reach success or like they attain certain you know things in life that that would actually like hinder us it would actually turn into bitterness and block you know abundance and prosperity in our own lives because you know we we're, we're just looking at it wrong you know like but if we're happy for other people you know like we could actually use that for inspiration for encouragement to do similar like things for our own lives you know so yeah you know another thing I'm just grateful for like the habit of like working out for like challenging my body like I've, I've been running like every day for the last few days you know and uh, I've really made it a point to work out in some form or another every single day you know and it's uh it not only benefits your body, but it benefits your mood, it benefits your mind, your health, um, keeps your body in good shape. There's so many benefits to it, but like the Bible says, like your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. It's like the temple of God. Like we need to respect our temples. We need to honor them and um, treat them with respect. So yeah guys I just man there's so much more I want to like mention and say that like I'm just so grateful for you know and uh man just to be in the state of gratitude is is huge so I'm really gonna make this a point to like you know not take things for granted it's so easy to take things for granted it's so easy to get into a negative attitude or um you know like oh I don't feel like working today you know like alright here's the thing like if I have to work today and I like keep telling myself oh I don't feel like working today like I'm really not gonna feel like working today but if I shift that to like hey you know what remember when I first got this job remember how hard it was how, I, how hard I wanted to get this job and I finally got it when I got this job I was so thankful I was like god I got in you like thank you so much like I got this position like I tried to get it for over a year, you know, and, like, I finally got it, and, like, man, like, I was so grateful for it, and so happy, and, like, then, like, some time goes by, a year goes by, and I'm like, oh, like, this is hard work, I don't feel like doing this, trying to get off work early and stuff, and it's like, you know, I know there's some days where just, like, we're tired, and we're just not feeling it, but, you know, like, we have control of our attitude and our the perspective we want to look at things and and we also have control of you know 
if we're going to be grateful for the situations we have in life, the, you know, the, even the hard things, you know, like, we should be grateful for the challenges because we know they're going to give us strength. We're, we know they're going to bring more growth into us. Like, like the book of James, chapter 1, says, like, consider it great joy when you reach trials and tribulations of many kinds because it develops growth, it develops strength, it develops perseverance, and it develops uh, growth of character. You know, it's like when we're, when we're faced with challenges or just things don't go wrong or things don't go right in life, like the last thing we want to think of sometimes, most of the time is like, oh, consider this great joy. You know, um, but it really is true, like, in the big picture. Like, think of the hardest things that you have gone through and you came out of. Like, think how that brought, like, transformation to your life. How, how much it caused growth in your life. Had you not gone through those things, um, you wouldn't have the character you have today. You wouldn't have the strength that you may have today. And, um... Uh, you know, do I like those things? No, I really don't. I really don't like when things go wrong, when you're in the storms and the trials and the tribulations of life. Like, it sucks. It sucks. It really does sometimes, you know. It doesn't doesn't feel enjoyable. But, you know, not everything in life is to be enjoyable. Some things, there's suffering, there's struggle, there's... Uh, and that's just, this is part of life. But, it, you know, we can choose how we're going to look at it. So, like, our attitude, our mind, like, oh, it's so crucial, you know. And, like, I just want to just get that out there right now, guys. So, you know, next next month will be a year, like, without Kratom on, like, August 14th, you know. Um... And it's pretty crazy, you know, it's pretty crazy, like, um, <laughs> I want, I want it, I want it to be at a year, you know what I mean, because it'd just be cool, like, have a year, but also, I don't, I don't want summer to be over, like, because August is, like, the end of summer here in Minnesota, so, I'm just, like, take your time, enjoy summer, like, it's still, it's still the beginning of July, we got two months of summer left, you know, so, yeah, I just wanted to put that out there real quick, guys. Just, um, just, uh, just be grateful. Just be grateful, you know. And this is this is for me too. This is totally for me because I know some days I can just feel off. You know, um, I don't feel like doing things. I'm just, you know, there's there's off days. There's days where you're just not feeling it, and you know, I I, I feel like. When I have those days in the future, I want to put this video on to just remind me, to encourage me to like, hey, you know, we we actually have control of our our mind state, of uh, how we want to look at things, our attitude. So, with that, guys, that's all I got for now. As always, be blessed. Love you guys. Take care.